my motivation actually came from uh, the fact that I always look for ways to improve systems to make it efficient. So safety was one of our biggest concerns building the, the locker. Uh, so first we actually had to consult with uh, our designer, our engineers on what would be safe. Where's my phone? I got a text message yes. that somebody had dropped something for me. Yes. So I want to try it and see if it okay. works. All right. And then pick up, pick up parcel and then, you and then I have to just key in the yes. pin. And then confirm and then that's it. Voila! <laughs> The government of Ghana wants to help young Ghanaian entrepreneurs. So they have come out with a platform called Amplified. Amplified is a new media platform initiated by the Ghana Ministry of Information and their focus is to use the new media leverage of the Ministry of Information and other association of program partners to support the work of young Ghanaians and to aid them in reaching large audience for free. So if you know of any young Ghanaian who is doing something that you think the world should see, just tell them to log on to www.moi.gov.gh slash Amplified to register so that they can take advantage of this great initiative by the Ministry of Information. So this week on Amplified, the Ghana Minister responsible for information, Honorable Kojo Oponkroma, visited a young Ghanaian entrepreneur called Godwin a Japan who has invented the world first ever smart lock system called Locker. This is here to help solve Ghana and other African countries housing addressing problems because most countries in Africa does not have proper house addressing system. Because of that shopping online is very very difficult and also cost of delivery services are more and more expensive. So, LOCA is here to solve these problems in Ghana and also other African countries. Before we get into the story of Godwin on how LOCA works and what motivates him to come out with such great invention, we want the whole world to know that Africans, we are now solving our own problems. So please help us by liking and sharing this video and also subscribe to this channel for more videos like this. Thank you very much for liking and now let's get into the story of Godwin. What if I tell you there's a new avenue to have your items delivered at a cheaper price, more convenient and safe? Meet Godwin at Japan, a young Ghanaian entrepreneur who has developed an innovative delivery system called Locker. My name is Godwin, Godwin de Japon. I'm the founder and CEO of Locker, the one of a kind smart locker uh, system in the world. I actually uh, completed Accra Academy. I hold a degree in communications and international business. I also doubled uh, as a, a certified project manager. My innovation, what it does is uh, it temporarily holds your package, whether you bought it online, uh, whether a friend has to give you something, or whether you have someone coming from the airport or coming into the country. Uh, the system holds your package for a set amount of time. Uh, the recipient gets a pin code and whenever they are ready, uh, they come pick it up. So what this innovation does is it saves you time, it saves uh, your business uh, delivery costs, and then it saves, uh, it's very efficient, it's safe, and also solves the problem that we have in terms of the addressing system in Ghana. My motivation actually came from uh, the fact that I always look for ways to improve systems to make it efficient. I actually even made a career out of it. But this particular uh, motivation for this particular innovation came as a result of me coming to Ghana, a friend giving me an item to give to a family member in the US. And unfortunately uh, for me, I had actually I had to wait for hours, uh, even though the person told me they were close by. Because of that, uh, I, I was talking to my driver at then, which was my Uber driver, that do you know what, uh, what would be much more beneficial and better is if we had a system where the person can leave the item at a certain place or a place where I can pick up whenever I'm ready so I don't have to wait. Uh, and that is how the idea clicked. I went back, did a few research, 
uh, on what was already out there and then we came out with the smart locker system. So safety was one of our biggest concerns building the, the locker. Uh, so first we actually had to consult with uh, our designer, our engineers on what would be safe. So we built the smart locker system, this is the locker system to act like a safety deposit box. In addition to that, we equipped it with cameras. We have a 24-hour uh, civilian camera, one facing whoever is picking the item and one watching the environment. In addition to that, to what we did was we have a security station uh, at the place to monitor everything that goes on. In addition to that as well, uh, what we did is we built the smart locker system to have uh, equipped with alarm systems. Just in case somebody is breaking into it, the alarm will blow, everybody can see it. Also, if somebody has to break into it, they would have to drill about two hours to get into it. And if everything fails, from what I've said, uh, everything in the locker is ensured up to the full amount. So whatever happens, you're either going to get your item or you're going to get a monetary value for your item. So in terms of the way the system works, uh, we do have two solutions, one tailored to individuals and one tailored uh, to businesses. So for individuals, uh, what you can do is you can download our app from either the Apple Store or the Play Store, uh, locker spelled L-O-C-Q-A-R, or you can text HI to 055-1399-222. Uh, the chatbot will kick in and answer all your questions. So what you do is you request for a drop-off pin. After you get the drop-off pin, you come to whichever station you want to drop it off at. You type in the drop-off pin, it takes you seven seconds, a box will open, you place the item in the box. After you close it, the locker will send a text message to whoever needs to receive it to come pick it up. So that is how the system works basically for individuals. So for businesses, the solution we have, uh, depending on what system, so we, we built our solution to uh, fit uh, different uh, business scenarios. So if you already have uh, like an e-commerce, we give you an API which gives you access to all our lockers. You can drop it off in. If you are a small business, maybe you sell on WhatsApp, uh, you sell on social media, and you sell in high volume. The other thing we do is we give you a printer. Uh, what that means is after you sell, you print a label and then slap it on the package. At the end of the day, uh, the locker career uh, group will come pick it up and then do the drop off for you. If you want to do your own drop off, so you can do it. Uh, we do have the subscription services depending on what your business requires. So you can talk to us, you can email us, uh, we can come to you and then we can solve that. Uh, we also do have another solution called the pick and pay. For what that means is all, also is that uh, you sell something uh, to an individual, they make a payment. The payments they make does not go to you, the seller. Uh, the seller gets a notification, they come to us, we verify the product, we pick that product and put it in a locker. After the buyer gets the product, then we release the money uh, to the seller. So this offers the insurance for both the buyer and then the seller. So whatever happens, everybody's going to win. And uh, the only people who stand to lose uh, seems to be us, but that is the solution we want to provide for people uh, selling to individuals they don't know so they don't get defrauded. Minister for Information, Kojo Opoy Nkrumah, visited the local station at a crown mall to pick up his delivery. Man like God. Hi. <laughs> How are you doing? I'm good. Yourself? I'm okay. That's good. Thank you for coming. So this is the locker? Yes, this is it. <laughs> uh, how does it operate? So, uh, you first have to request for a PIN code for individuals. How do you request? By so the way? you do it either on the WhatsApp app. Uh, we have uh, WhatsApp Automated. So you can uh, request for it on 055-1299-222 and then all you do is text hi. It works just like the way the app works. Okay. If you don't have WhatsApp, you can download our app, which is also Locker, spelled L-O-C-Q-A-R, and then request for the drop-off pin. But for businesses, what we do is we integrate with their system. So what they do is the barcode of the product they're selling, all they have to do is when they come, they scan it and then oh. a box opens and then they oh. drop it off here. I yes. see, yes. I see. So how does the concept work? You request to leave an item for 24 hours. Uh, so that's when you request for the drop-off pin code. So the drop-off pin, when you get a drop-off pin, you place the item, when you come to the station, which is here, and then when you, you hit next. So when you hit next, you choose drop-off okay. and then type in the pin code you got. 
a box will open randomly because we never tell you what box is going to open for security reasons. Immediately you put your items and then close it. The system will send a text message to whoever needs to come pick it up. Just like how I got a text yes. message. So yes. somebody dropped something for me. Yes. Okay. Yes. <laughs> so you, you get it and then when you come, all you have to do is just pin in the, uh, the pickup pin, which is when you go next, pick up, you pin in the, the code, a box, the same box, which uh, you has been booked for you for 24 hours, opens, and then you pick up your item, then you're gone. So I have a few questions. This is outside the Accra Mall. Yes. How safe is it? I mean, aren't you scared that people driving around or walking around can just come in and break it and take it out? Oh, so when we started uh, looking at the concept and building it, uh, one of the major concerns that came in was safety, even with our surveys. Uh, so I'm happy to say in Ghana, we haven't had any situation that I know of, that we know of, where an ATM was broken into. Even with that in mind, we decided to put the lockers at a central location and to put it in a public place. We also decided to fix uh, a camera oh. over there watching 360 and one watching right, right on whoever is pinning uh, the code in. Okay. Even with that, uh, in order for you to break into a box... Right, how do you get power to it? Uh, it's solar. So this is one of a kind. It's solar, solar powered. Everything here is solar. From camera to the system, everything is solar, so okay. no ground power. Okay. Yeah. How robust is it? I mean, really, how strong is it? Well, it is strong. Uh, for you to break into it, uh, we know for a fact it has to take you two hours to drill into it. Wow. And for the two hours, I mean, it's a public place. It's gonna Somebody rain. will see. Yes. So how many of these do you have? We have five at the moment. Uh, this one is at the Accra Mall. Uh, we, we are going to have one in uh, Mile 7, Achimota Mall. We're going to have one in West Hills Mall, uh, Nungwa, which is the Junction Mall. We actually, I'm happy to say we're going to have one at the airport. Oh, I so see. if I have a parcel for you and I'm coming from the U.S. or coming from anywhere. I don't need to wait for you for no, hours at the you, airport. you don't need to. So one of the things you can do is you can request for a pin code to drop off your item in one location. So let's say Accra Mall. And then the person will come pick it up at the Accra Mall. We also offer the opportunity for you to drop it off in Accra Mall. And then we will relocate it to, let's say, the Achimota Mile 7. So you don't have to go to Achimota Mile 7. The other thing too we do is you can leave it at the crown mall and then tell the system that you want it to go to a house or a location. And our career uh, service uh, providers will come pick it up and send it to the location of your choice. You can, all, you can do this in the app. You can do it on WhatsApp as well. Where on earth did you get this idea from? Well, uh, anytime I come to Ghana, I, I pick up stuff to give to friends. And like every situation that I've been in, I wait for hours. No, the person doesn't show up on time. No, this is really innovative. And so what? You got it manufactured abroad and brought in here into Ghana? Yes, uh, we got it manufactured abroad, but I'm happy to say we are currently testing uh, to build it in Ghana. Uh, we're doing a test uh, right now in Kumasi. To make sure we can do it so we can so that you can cut down on the cost of materials etc yes, so has it been tried anywhere else before did it succeed did it fail what are you learning from that so smart lockers exist the process does not exist is the reason why we filed a patent is there something peculiar to this that could make it work in other parts of africa apart from the ghanaian market so it has to because you know with this africa continental uh, yes. free trade area you're also looking at how you can deliver beyond Ghana. Yes, so we have other services, but one thing we've noticed is people don't know what it is. So education is what we are trying to do more. But after education, we have other services where you can buy something from Togo, uh, Nigeria, but you don't have to go. We pick up the item, we deliver to you. Uh, and now we can put it in a box. We like put it in a box and then you pick it up. So what we do is we do something called uh, bias, uh, 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 bias insurance. Okay. So I pay for the product until I get the product, the money is not released to the seller. Wow. And uh, that's what we're doing. So uh, in terms of the continental trade, that's how we, we're looking to enter. And also we have uh, plans and we have the technology that allows you to shop outside of Ghana on uh, eBay, Amazon. And then the following week, it's here. And then you can pick it from the front of the Accra Mall or any of your other locations. I see. If, um, if I could help you with something, what's the biggest need you have now? Well, from what we've seen, so we know our system works right uh, and we know what to expect in terms of uh, the things that would not work and where we, our biggest problem has to do with uh, dealing with the local government, uh, getting permits for the place. Uh, because the system is new and they don't know how to go about it, uh, first they assume we are rich. 
<laughs> so our bills and our fees are way too much. Uh. So uh, for instance, here that we are, we did the groundwork, everything, fixed all the solar lights. Okay. And I can tell you the bill they gave us, you think they were selling the land to us. <laughs> and that is just for a year. And uh, we actually- So local ground rent charges are quite high for you. So not just quite high, the process is too. It's, it's sad to say this, but there's so much inefficiency in the system in terms of the processes. So it prolongs the process. We've had our lockers sitting in the warehouse since January. We've been and trying to get in local permits to, to, to move. Out. Yes. Okay. So, and I, yesterday I was telling one of the district that uh, warehouses cost way too much for you to be delaying me. Uh, so they promised that on Thursday they'll do something about it. So two things. One, yes. there's something we just launched at the ministry yes. with uh, GIPZ. It's called Spark Up. Okay. It allows people doing business to interact with local authorities, etc., and explain to them what your frustrations are and why they need to quicken up the process so that your investment, how much you are investing in this, can quickly be unlocked or freed up, and then it can work for us. Um, I'd like you to speak up, spark up, okay. and, and let them know and hear directly the kind of challenge you are facing. i also like you to talk to the local government minister okay. and explain to him why it's important for the assemblies to understand that they need to be more efficient in giving ground permits and giving the kind of rates that make it easier for young business people to roll out their activities out there. And then, because we're amplifying you, we're also hoping that a lot more people would see and hear about you and access your services. Yes. Cool? Yes, very cool. Yes. But I'm impressed. Listen, this yes. is innovative. And I like the fact that from Ghana, you're doing something that you are seeking to patent. Yes. And hopefully the rest of Africa can benefit uh, from it. If there's something you can tell young business people out there who are watching, what would you say to them? Or uh, people who are hoping to do business? Well, what I would say is uh, in order for our country to be better, in order for us to fix the country, we need to make sacrifices. And that is what I've done. We cannot stay outside and leave our skills outside. We need to bring it to the country. It's going to be hard, but if nobody's doing the hard work, I'm sorry to say, only fools will do the work. Where's my phone? I got a text message yes. that somebody had dropped something for me. Yes. So I want to try it and see if it works. Okay, drives. all right. <laughs> George. Ah, uh -huh, yeah. So once I get the text message, I yes. just have to key in. You just have to pay in the pickup and you'll be surprised how fast the system is going to open. Really? Yes. Okay, so it says, dear customer, yes. your parcel has been delivered to Accra Mall. That's correct. Your pickup pin is yes. da 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 da. Mm -hmm. Thank you for using local. That's correct. So what do I do next? next? And then pick up, pick up parcel. And then, you and then I have to just key in the yes. pin. And then confirm. And then that's it. Voila. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm told there's a guy who did a t-shirt for me. Ah. Who decided to send it to me mm -hmm. through your system. Yes. And then, oh, it has a heart on it. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's a lady. <laughs> Ah, yes. Mm. Yep. So this is another young entrepreneur okay. who told me that he had done a shirt for me and that he was sending it to me. Yeah. Want to help me out with it? Oh, shit. Yes. Oh, I see. Yeah. That's a nice Kente. Yes. A Democrat t-shirt. Yeah. So one of the things we're also doing is like young entrepreneurs selling. We're telling them, yes, sell your goods. We'll come pick it up and then drop it off in the lockers for yeah, you. Yeah, and then you can just send the number to, to your customer. Yes to just come to the mall or any of your other destinations yes, and, and then pick, pick it, up. it up. That's it. Listen, Godwin, mm -hmm. uh, this is impressive. Yeah. I can only wish you all the best. Thank you. And uh, just follow up with my office and let's see how we get the local government minister to have some sit down time with you so that he can also talk to, I mean, the um, assemblies okay. on the behalf of yourself or on your behalf yes. and on behalf of the scores of other young uh, business people. Okay. And then let's see how we can fast that. That'll be helpful. Okay. Thank you, Thank you very much. All the best. Yeah, man. Thank you for coming.